Welcome back, comic book collectors and enthusiasts. My name is Brandon. You're watching Mon Comics as I head to Free Comic Book Day 2024 at Funky Town Comics and Vinyl. Stick around. Welcome back to the channel, gang. I am heading to Syracuse, New York uh, for free comic book day at Funky Town Comics and Vinyl. Uh, I have a finite amount of time to get up here and get back as the grandparents have the kids. Uh, primary goals, pick up uh, the free comic book day comics that I really wanna have. There's a Hellboy one. Uh, there's like an X-Men one, I think. I'm not sure. I've tried to look at the catalog a bit. Uh, and then the other goal is to get, uh, I have like 14 items to get signed by Joe Jusco and a comic by Matt Flint. Um, I don't know what I'm heading into. I don't know how many people are going to be there. It opens at nine. My GPS says I'm going to get there right at nine. Uh, so I really don't know if it's going to be a line of people waiting to go in and get their comics and get autographs or if it's going to be quiet. I just, I, I've never been to the store for free comic book day. Um, they are having some awesome deals. Um, I'll show those later on when I'm back in the creation station. Um, so definitely looking to pick up, uh, some, any kind of run fillers I can find. They said they were going to have the wall books restocked. Uh, and just to have fun with that. I've only got about an hour there, so hopefully uh, I can just squeeze as much fun into that hour as possible. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for some footage from the shop. Where are you from, Matt? Where'd you grow up? Uh, I grew up in Cornell, New York. Okay. Uh, it's about 70 miles south of Rochester. Okay. Uh, I, am, I currently live right here in Liverpool. Oh, you do? Yeah, right here in Syracuse. So where else can um, people find your art? Uh, if they're looking to buy it, looking to get your prints, uh, to your website? I do have an online store, but you can find all of my links at theartofmattflint.com. So if you need spelling, oh, it's <laughs> Awesome. But yeah, uh, most things I'm at the Art of Matt Flint. Uh, you can find me on pretty much any social media platform. Do you? Um, so who do you currently uh, draw for? Um, is there anyone like a tops, or do you do sketch cards for? Like, what's your main? It's it's pretty much all myself. Um, just recently, we, you know, me and Funky Town and Syracuse Collectors kind of partnered up on this exclusive. Uh, I'm, I've done work for uh, Keen Spot Entertainment, uh, which is an indie publisher company. Um, and I, I do have an upcoming cover with them as well. Uh, and then uh, we're looking at doing another uh, independent uh, or another exclusive cover. That's awesome. Yeah. I look forward to buying more of your art. You're very talented. Definitely, man. I appreciate that. You know what's crazy too is that I, uh, I it, it took me. They gave me three months to paint that entire card set. So Are you I, serious? I did 104 paintings in like 92 days. It was and they're, they're small, but it was just it was night and day for like three and a half months. And the quality is amazing, though. I mean, you, uh, I love your painted covers, like these two over uh, here that you me. did. Yeah, these are the 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 earliest. Like the Conan covers are great because it was a real learning period for me. Because I was probably in my mid twenties when I was painting those. It's amazing, man. Um, you and Dave Stevens are like oh, yeah, I miss Dave. Dave two prolific, nice two prolific artists that could just capture uh, the form, female form, and male form. You're just amazing. 
Yeah, I've, I've tried. I like when, when, especially when I paint women. I try not to do the pandering right. stuff that a lot of guys are into. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That, because that just doesn't work for me. Right. You no. Know? Absolutely. Uh, make it realistic and. That's why, I, that's why I think my Vampirella stuff is so highly regarded by the people who follow her character. Because I try to adhere to sort of the class and the glamour that Warren gave her. Yes. And not the TNA that they do now. Yes. You know? Yes. No, that's amazing. Thank you so much, Mr. Jusco. Guys, happy uh, free combo day, Funky Town Comic Yeah, what's up, guys? Jesse, appreciate you. Chris, thank you guys so much for hosting us. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, you so yeah. much. Thanks so much, guys. Some awesome deals today. Unbelievable. I could have blew a lot more money, but I'm trying to hear strain. <laughs> so, yeah, Funky Town Comics and Vinyl. Holy potatoes, Dr. Jones. That was a crazy experience. I've never been to a free comic book day that was that busy. Uh, highly organized, well run. Uh, getting to meet Joe Jusco and Matt Flint and get stuff signed. Plus, got a book from the bins and a wall book. It was just amazing. And the guys at Funky Town Comics and Vinyl, I, I can't say enough. Uh, Jesse, Chris, and Jeff, you guys just crushed it. So uh, let's get back to the creation station, show you guys what I got. All right, we are back from Funky Town Comics and Vinyl, where I spent Free Comic Book Day 2024. Uh, before we go any further into the books and I tell you about the day and uh, what was going on as I was filming, uh, if you like this kind of content, um, I like to try to think of it as I'm trying to earn your subscription. Um, I don't expect anything. Um, my dad always tried to teach me to stay humble, uh, but celebrate your successes. And uh, I'm very grateful I'm at over 1,300 subs. Uh, that's no easy feat uh, by any means, and I'm very grateful for it. Uh, so if you want to follow along on this journey and see how I get comics in the middle of nowhere, free comic book day excluded, because uh, I travel to an LCS, and uh, see what kind of books I'm picking up and follow along on my story, it'd be greatly appreciated if you hit that subscribe button. Uh, it helps me grow the channel. It is always one part of a qualification for when I do giveaways. Hint, hint. Um, so yeah, it would really mean a lot to me. So let me just tell you a little bit about uh, my experience at Funky Town Comics and Vinyl for Free Comic Book Day 2024. Okay, besides the whole comic pickup and you know the free comic books and the books I bought from the store themselves, uh, two big things happened that really made my day, made me happy. Um, that uh, one I really didn't expect. I guess both I really didn't expect. Uh, the first being was I was kind of like wandering around the store. Um, you know, there was a big line when I got there. I didn't film the line because I had one hour at the store. It took me two hours round trip to get there and back, but I only had one hour uh, that my kids were with someone for. So my anxiety kind of set in when I saw the line, how long the line was. And I didn't think to film. I just got in line. I'm immediately texting the babysitter thinking like, you know, I don't know how this is working, how I'm going to get in. As you can hear in my footage before, I said, I know what I'm in for. Well, there was a line. Shop's kind of small. So they were only letting in as many people that came out. So if two came out, two went in. Three came out, three went in, so on and so forth. So I didn't get much footage of the line. My footage really starts when I got in there and kind of like got the lay of the land for how everything was set up. So when I was in there... And I was just walking around, like, trying to figure out, you know, I wanted to look. I didn't have much time to dig through bins. I had some time to look at the wall books. But all of a sudden, over one of the racks, I hear Mon Comics. And I'm, like, kind of, like, in a daze. I'm like, that, that's me. <laughs> I'm Mon Comics. And I look over. And this nice guy by the name of Jason was like, hey, man, I watch your channel. Um, uh, thanks for the content. I really appreciate it. And I shook his hand. I'm like, you have no idea how much that means to me. Um, you know, I get interacted with in the comments all the time and, I, and that means uh, the world to me, but in person was a whole different experience that I would have never, you know, expected to happen because first of all, my shtick is ordering mostly comics online and providing you, you the viewers, reliable places to buy comics online. So I'm not out in the wild that much. And uh, he said he was from Watertown, New York, which is uh, from where I live in Hamilton. It's a couple hours away from Syracuse, not that far. Uh, but really nice guy. Jason, if you do watch this video, thanks for making a nerd's day, man. Like that meant a lot to me. I appreciate you watching the show. Uh, I hope you continue to find my content fun and entertaining. Uh, so that was really cool, crazy thing, number one. Number two, I was standing uh, in line to get autographs from Matt Flint for a book. He did a uh, cover for Funky Town Vinyl, Vinyls and Comic Exclusive. Uh, and, you know, there's people there of all ages. Old people, young people, you know, old heads like me. One of the coolest things I saw was this young kid. You know, flat-brimmed hat, 
probably 13, 14, he had an arm full of stuff. He had a stack of comic books. He had some art prints. He had two Funko Pops and an action figure. And he had the biggest smile on his face as he walked by me, trying to figure out where he was going next. That's important. That's He is the future of our hobby. The girl that was in front of me in line, they're the future of our hobby. I was just so incredibly happy to see that moment it looked like i was looking at me back in my childhood except we didn't have anything cool like free comic book day that many years ago um so i just really it just put a huge smile on my face to see this kid walking by with like his arms just full of just coolness and uh, i was like man that kid's gonna get home he's gonna read some books he's gonna put the art print on the wall he's gonna put his funko pops by some comics go get him kid that was pretty awesome so Couple cool things that happened, and now let's get to what I actually got that day. All right, so I hadn't even gotten in the shop, and there was a gentleman walking by, and he was like, "Hey, I, this is a free comic from Ahoy Comics. Uh, we're putting out, we're publishing comics. We'd like to get them out there in your hands." And there was like a few left. He's like, "Do you want one?" I was like, "Absolutely." Uh, so this comic is called Dead Weights. Is there life after super villainy? Uh, so the way he um, kind of described it is a uh, redemption story uh, for supervillains. Um, really cool. Like, yeah, absolutely. I'll take a free comic to read. Haven't got into it yet. I haven't gotten to any of this stuff because we were displaced from our house from last Thursday through Sunday, Monday, as uh, we got some flooring put down. So I just haven't had time to to get into reading some of this stuff. I did read one comic, which I'll show, but I uh, really thought this was cool. He was uh, passing this out. And he had uh, this little flyer right here. Um, so there's a QR code if you want to scan it. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about this. Love supporting independent publishers. So yeah, Ahoy Comics and uh, Deadweights was the first book I got without even stepping in the store. Okay, so we were allowed to get three free comic book day books per person. So if I had brought my daughter, I could have had her get three and then taken them. But like... My daughter's a pretty wild and crazy kid at four, so as much as I wanted to bring this one to this one, I brought her to the one last year, and it was kind of just wild, so I said, I'll just give her some time, and I went solo. So I was able to pick three comics. They had a huge, or I think they had all of them that you could pick. Um, the first one was the one I wanted the most, and it was uh, Hellboy for Free Comic Book Day. Uh, of course, art by Mike Mignola, and uh, Mark Laszlo and Dave Stewart were also on the creative team. Um, always been a big fan of Hellboy. I love collecting Hellboy. I love the character. I love, uh, his, you know, his origin. And, uh, it also features a story from Stranger Things in here. So I did actually have a chance. Uh, this is the only book I, I laid down and read that night after a long day. Uh, it has to do with the fortune teller that's also a creature. So very cool story. Um, I won't spoil it if you haven't read it. And the Stranger Things story is pretty cute too. So very happy I was able to pick up a Hellboy comic on Free Comic Book Day. Uh, the next two co books were, were pretty much covers. Uh, I want to read the stories, but they had some of my favorite characters on them. There were so many books I wanted there, but uh, maybe I'll trade for them in the future when I find out people to have them. But my second one I chose was Spider-Man number one, Ultimate Universe. It's got Doom up there and Green Goblin and Iron Man and Cap. It's just a great cover and Spider-Man front and center. Uh, so yeah, haven't had a chance to read this yet, but uh, was really drawn to the cover. Uh, creative team, Wells, Stegman, Mayer, and Mentz, Camp, Figari, and Blee. Uh, 13 plus is the age recommendation, so uh, looking forward to reading this. And the last free comic I got was, again, a cover by. Uh, had a lot of my favorite characters on it. Um, but it's just a beautiful cover, too. Uh, X-Men, uh, or Marvel Blood Hunt, number one. So, tons of great Marvel characters on here. Uh, Fantastic Four, looks like they're fighting some vampires, Spider-Man, Daredevil, one of my favorites. Um, so yeah, very cool cover. Uh, these are right at the front. Uh, these are going pretty hot, um, and I'm excited to read these stories. Uh, the Hellboy comic is going to go right into my collection, um, but uh, I was very grateful for what I was able to pick up this day, and you'll see some of the other stuff that I got uh, signed by artists there. So I always like to pay it forward. So, you know, maybe I'll use uh, one of these comics in a giveaway soon. Hint, hint, watch next week's video for a chance to win a giveaway item or multiple. Hint, hint.
Okay, on to uh, the regular book set day. Now, this one I admittedly didn't buy at Free Comic Book Day. I got this at Syracuse Collectors Con uh, to support a local artist. Uh, it is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 148. Um, but what's great about this is the cover artist. This is another Funky Town Comics vinyl uh, exclusive. Uh, cover artist was there signing. Uh, Matt Flint, you saw him in the footage. You saw him signing this book. Um, really did a great job uh, signing that. I love the blue he chose. Very talented artist. Really great guy to talk to. Check out his page on Instagram. I'll link, link all of his uh, website and socials in the description. I am kicking myself. I'm going to have to reach out on um, Instagram. You may have seen the last video I made where I talked about something is killing the children. Um, he had a sketch of Erica Slaughter there, and I was just tight on funds, and I couldn't pull the trigger without, you know, um, having to give up some other stuff that I wanted maybe a little more. But I'm going to have to reach out with him and see if he still has it available because i got to buy it because this one is actually going to a friend of the channel. So uh, very cool. He was only charging 5 bucks if you had the item to get it signed. So was happy to do so. And I can't wait to see uh, the person uh, that gets um, this book in the mail for me. Okay, so they had a lot of great deals going on. I'll put them right here so you can see. It's great. They have a text sign up so you can get it and uh, see what all the deals were that day. And uh, I was I had a little bit of time to dig through bins. Um, I knew they didn't have any Fantastic Four that I was looking for uh, or Adventure into Fear when I went previously a couple weeks ago. Um, I had asked them and they didn't have any. Uh, but I went right to the H's and I did find a book uh, that I've wanted. I have to get the other three issues now too. But another Hellboy book. Uh, so Seed of Destruction Part 4 from 1994, written by the great John Byrne as well as Mike Mignola, and cover and art by Mike Mignola. And um, like I said, I've just loved Hellboy ever since I took a class in uh, college called Comic Books as Literature, and he, one of his stories uh, was a required reading material. So I fell in love with the character, fell in love with the stories. I love fairy tales and fables and mythos from other countries, and I loved how they tied Hellboy uh, into that whole pantheon of like going and hunting these creatures uh, for the Bureau of Paranormal, Paranormal Research or Investigation, I can't remember. It's been a long day, folks, long Monday. Um, but uh, really cool, I had to pick this up. Um, I think all books over $5, you saw the special, how much was off. But um, for a quick grab, I was really happy to pick this one up. And um, of course, I do enjoy the Ron Perlman movies, just awesome. So yeah, Hellboy Sea Destruction number four, just gotta find the other three now. So. Again, I didn't buy this that day, but the last time I was there, I pre-ordered this, and uh, they saved me a copy. Um, I was a big fan, surprise, surprise, of the Universal Monsters growing up. My favorite um, was Creature from the Black Lagoon, the Gill Man. So this is Creature from the Black Lagoon Lives, number one, a special variant cover uh, done by uh, Nimit Malavia. I'm, I might be murdering that. This was the Funky Town Comics and Vinyl exclusive. Uh, so from 2024, um, just a really cool, beautiful cover. Someone chime in in the comments what um, what other art style. I know there's another art style artist that has done this kind of cover where um, the background is the creature's head and then it has like the jungle and stuff. So beautiful, beautiful cover. Um, love it. And uh, admittedly, this is actually going to a friend of the channel as well that I think will really dig it. So I always like to... Um, good karma, pay stuff forward. I was lucky enough to get uh, a different version of this, which I'll show in a second. And uh, this other person was kind to me, so I gotta, gotta take care of people. Uh, but it was very cool to add this and pick that up for him. And then my last pickup, now this is really cool. Um, I saw on the wall, there was this version, there was a foil version. Uh, this is uh, Creature for the Black Lagoons Lives, number one, but it is the Alex Ross 1 in 75 ratio sketch variant cover, virgin variant. So virgin variant, again, I've explained it before, but it means there's nothing on the cover. Alex Ross is a very, very talented artist. Uh, I do love a lot of the stuff he does, especially like the timeless variants that he put out for like the villains and heroes are just absolutely beautiful. And um, this is a, just a classic, iconic scene from... Creature of the Black Lagoon, when uh, the damsel is is swimming on top of the water and he's just out of reach from touching her. It always made me, as a kid, it, it, it roils the imagination to wonder, well, you know, what's under the water? What's just almost barely touching you? Uh, so they had this one marked at $75, but I think the wall books were 15% off again. So I think I got a pretty good deal on it regardless. It's just beautiful, beautiful cover. Um, awesome, awesome artwork. Um, 
very cool to add a, a modern comic to my uh, collection. You guys know I'm, I'm mostly a silver and bronze and some gold age collecting, but uh, this was pretty cool. But let me talk to you about probably the coolest interaction of the day. So when I was planning on going to Free Comic Book Day at Funky Town Comics and Vinyl, they had told me Joe Jusco was going to be there signing. I didn't know how this could be. You know, he was originally from New York City, but it turns out he's a transplant to Syracuse, New York, which is where this shop's located. Couldn't believe it. And I was like, is he going to be signing stuff? And they're like, yeah, if anything you bring is five bucks to have him sign. I was like, that's a, that's a deal. So he's iconic. He's done some amazing painted covers. He is responsible for the Marvel masterpieces in uh, the early 90s that, you know, the, the Marvel Impel cards went series one, two, and three. He actually did a little work on three, but then he did the whole series one masterpiece by himself, which the first three sets were awesome as a kid. But when those came out, it was just mind blowing. It was like, well, real, real big art on cards. Um, so I found it was going to be their signing and I put out um, kind of a beacon to some friends in the community and said, hey, does anyone have any of the Marvel Masterpiece cards? I don't have any anymore. My good buddy Ryan over at Collecting Casually said, hey man, I got you. He dug through a bunch of stuff and he's like, is it cool if I send some stuff to have you have him sign for me? I'm like, absolutely, man. You sign them, I'll, you send them, I'll get them signed, ship them back, no problem. So Ryan sent an awesome package. His stuff's already on the way back to him, but I was able to get a number of cards signed. So the first one I got was, of course, a Daredevil to display up with my uh, Daredevil uh, run that I'm doing. Of course, I had to get a uh, Fantastic Four uh, character, so Ryan provided me with the thing. Beautiful signature, love his signature. Of course, Dr. Doom 2099. A very awesome silver with the silver in the background. Just pops really well. I got a War Machine. Very, very awesome. Beautiful. This He's just such a talented artist. Uh, a Carnage. This is also going to a fellow YouTuber friend of mine who requested it. So I will hook him up. Really cool one. Deadpool. Pretty, pretty awesome with uh, that coming out soon. Strife. Always thought this was really cool as a kid. Loved anyone in armor. And Iron Fist. So like I said in the video, I had 14 items to get signed. Ryan had sent a couple cards. He sent a beautiful Conan cover. Go check him out. Subscribe his channel. I'll put his link down below. He's a wonderful, kind human. Um, really beautiful videos and editing style. And I'm sure he's going to make a video about what I was able to get signed for him. And um, uh, once he receives it, so you'll be able to see what he got. So I sent out those items. I had 14 items in all. And I am very grateful uh, to be adding these to my collection. But the thing is, it'd be kind of greedy to keep all these for myself. So some might be included in a giveaway being announced next week. Hint, hint. So yeah, I, I am grateful that, that I'll be able to put a few in my collection. I cannot say enough about how nice uh, Mr. Jusco was. He had some great stories. He was talking about... Um, you know, they gave him three months to put out 150 cards. And he just said day and night. He was just cranking these out. And um, I just thought that was crazy. He's like, they asked me to do it again on another set. I just said I couldn't. I think he did do a Marvel Masterpiece set recently, 2016. Someone in the comments can can figure, can figure leave me, drop me something and tell me if he did. I'm pretty sure he did say that, but super nice guy. Um, I told him his art reminded me a lot. Um, his ability to draw the female form and male form was like Dave Stevens. And he said, I miss my buddy Dave. And that tugged at the heartstrings, man. You know, these people that have been in the, uh, the industry have, you know, lost friends along the way. Um, there's unfortunately tragic stories all throughout the histories of comics, whether it's Wally Wood or Gray Morrow or Dave Stevens. Um, it's just tough. It's part of life, but no one likes it. But um, Mr. Jusco, if you watch this, uh, I, follow, I followed him on Instagram. He commented on the picture I posted. Thanks so much. I really hope I get a chance to see you again and talk more comics and more cards and get some more stuff signed. Um, thanks for making my childhood dream pretty awesome to meet you and get some of these signed. That was pretty, pretty cool. So Free Comic Book Day 2024 is in the books. I want to give a huge special shout out thank you to Jesse, Jeff, and Chris, the triple owners of Funky Town Comics and Vinyls. These guys are just such nice, great LCS owners that are there 
making people happy. I was so glad to see how busy they were. It tells me the hobby is thriving and people are making the trip out to go to their store. Everyone had smiles on, everyone had a good time. Their deals were incredible. I highly recommend if you're in the Syracuse area, maybe you live around there and you didn't know about them, maybe you gotta drive an hour, maybe you're gonna be in town on business and you're just looking for a store to stop by, go there. You will not be disappointed. Those guys are class acts. I'm gonna try to make it up there once a month just to give them some business. They have a really great uh, rewards program for the regular shoppers. Um, so definitely go there, check them out. They're super cool guys. Um, I really had a blast on this free comic book day. I got everything I wanted and more, way more. I'm really grateful. Um, and I definitely want to spread the love. Hint, hint, stay tuned for next week's video for a giveaway. So I will be doing that uh, as I've been hinting at for next week. So I hope everyone has a great, safe weekend. And until next time, keep reading those comics.